welcome to the Medical, Dental and Veterinary Awards Program. My name's Dr. Siver and I'm one of the Chief Mentors. And my name's Dr. Kennedy and I'm another one of the Chief Mentors at Medic Mentor. The awards program is a fantastic opportunity for all of our Medic Mentor students to get themselves organised and ensure that they're doing the correct things that they need to for their med school application. Working smart and not just hard. Indeed, it's a fantastic curriculum based program that covers all of the extracurricular activities that you should be doing alongside all of your academic stuff, including your grades and everything that's covered in school, which really has its own syllabus and own curriculum. So what the awards program is, is just the other side of the coin to everything that you're already doing at school. And the whole program helps you do that in a timely and smart way so so that you can fit it in alongside all of your academic priorities. So we've done the hard work for you as the chief mentors. We've trawled through all of the prospectuses and med school's council guidance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we have put that information together in an amazing awards curriculum. So if you complete all the criteria on the awards program, you will have confidence knowing that you've done everything you need for your med school application. It's also a really good thing to have on your CV yeah. because this is a national medical, dental or veterinary award. So it's actually one of the most incredible things to have on your CV. You're already doing these amazing CV things anyway. This gives you a little bit more recognition. So nobody really needs any more reason to do it, right? Well, there's still some more. There are a couple more reasons. It keeps you really organised. Indeed, it's not just about being organised. It's about developing good practice for later, well, clinical practice as a doctor or a dentist or a vet. Keeping a portfolio of evidence of all the stuff you've done will be super important once you get to the undergraduate level. That's university. And then moving forwards as well. It will give you a massive head start. Again, it's working smart not just working hard. Any university are well within their right to ask for evidence at any point during the application. So I would only include things in your application if you have the evidence. Otherwise, if they ask for it and you don't have it, it can be mm. a bit of an awkward situation. So it keeps you nice and organized. And in addition to that, if well, and if that wasn't enough of a reason, Every student that completes the Gold Award automatically qualifies for one of Medic Mentor's incredible university scholarships. Indeed, the scholarship program is incredible. It's a mentored program all the way through medical, dental and vet school, which comes with a significant financial bursary as well to help with some of those living costs at university. So it's a great thing to be part of. And it's our way of continuing the really awesome mentoring that we do here all the way through your undergraduate years. And in terms of getting involved, in terms of getting a scholarship, the only thing you have to do is to complete the Gold Award. Then you're eligible for an interview. And for everybody who passes the interview, there is a scholarship available. So you could literally start medical school, dental school or vet school with a scholarship under your belt. So let's talk about the basic structure of the awards program. It's separated into bronze, silver and gold levels for simplicity. And it's also quite similar in that respect to the Duke of Edinburgh award that you may already be familiar with. So if you're in year 10 or S3, you go straight into bronze. If you're in year 11 or S4, you go straight into silver. And if you are in year 12 or S5, you go straight into gold. Now, it's not too late to sign up to the awards program as long as you haven't started year 13 or the latter part of your sixth year if you're a Scottish student. The other thing to say about the bronze, silver and gold approach is that it's both cumulative and retrospective. And that simply means you can go straight into gold if you are an older student and gold includes bronze and silver, which you will complete within gold anyway. Alternatively, you can start and do it earlier and prospectively. So you can start at bronze and progress naturally to silver and gold, and we will swap you over automatically at the end of the year. So it's really, really simple. In addition to that is the retrospective side of things. So if you do come in at gold, for example, and there's loads of stuff that you've already done, as long as you can meet the evidence criteria for the awards program, then you can include it in your Medic Mentor Awards as well. So that means you can take things that you've done in the past for other things, maybe even for DV, and as long as you meet the criteria for the awards, you can include it here. And you can include anything that you have done from year 10 or S3 upwards, because by the time you apply, that's usually what the med schools, dental schools and vet schools are asking for as well. Thank you.